Welcome to VNC Pocket Office Pro for the iPad 3D Cube Interface Tutorial. Add a new connection using the new 3D Cube interface. Each cube represents a VNC connection and you can select the cube by touching the iPad and moving your finger to scroll around the blocks. Let's add a new connection now by selecting the Add a New Connection cube. This cube appears large in the centre of the interface and you can also see the name of the connection underneath. Now tap on the cube to connect. Now let's add a new connection here by filling in some of the fields. First of all put a name, we'll put the IP address, this is a local IP address. We won't change the port number here and we'll put in a password. Make sure the save password is on, the ZOLE is selected, and as we're connected to a PC, both host is Mac and remote Mac are turned off. So let's now connect. As you see, we've made a successful connection to the VNC PC. We'll now disconnect from there, and the screen of the connected machine is now displayed on one of the faces of the cube making it easier to remember which machine you were on. To edit the connection, just touch the cube for half a second to go to the edit list. If you have a Bonjour enabled machine, a Bonjour cube will appear in your 3D cube interface. Select this cube and tap on it to connect. Then enter the password for that machine. You are now connected to the Bonjour machine. When you disconnect, you will again get a graphical representation of that connection on the cube. no connection. We now demonstrate what happens when you are unable to connect to a VNC client. We'll set up a connection as we did before, putting in the name of the connection, in this case no connection, an IP address, and in this case we'll actually put in the incorrect password and we'll try and connect. You can see the connection has failed given authentication refused. On the 3D cube interface you can see this connection is now all in grey and there's no visual representation of the connection. This is because it has failed to connect. You can see at the bottom here the actual connection name, the IP address and the greyed out connection icon. Obviously for successful connections you can see all the information down at the bottom here where it has connected and it's a Bonjour connection. Incomplete connection and delete. If you set up a connection and you don't put in all the details or you change the details in some way but you've never tried to connect, as in this case we're just giving it a name, when we connect to the 3D cube interface we get a mustard coloured cube indicating that there has been no connection and it hasn't been tried. If you want to delete a VNC connection in your 3D cube interface just go to the bottom of the information panel and press delete and that will remove that connection. You can also go to the normal list from the information panel and you can go to the help. 